smoke justice, thinking outside and inside the box. Adding pod seating and outdoor heaters are ways the Covington restaurant is staying open despite the state restriction closing indoor dining. Another way, adding Thanksgiving carryout options to the menu. We are smoked meat oriented, um, so it leads to comfort food. Uh, and so it's the perfect place for individualized comfort you know, experiences uh, for those who aren't having large gatherings. Thanksgiving meat plates with classic sides can be ordered and picked up through tomorrow evening. And how about them apples? Press on Mammoth is also adding to its menu these next couple of days. You got your turkey, uh, we're doing the smoked gravy, uh, cranberry sauce, uh, Yukon gold potatoes, corn, and uh, I'm making an apple cake. After learning last week dining rooms would have to close, the Newport restaurant made a last minute decision to sell, heat and serve Thanksgiving meals. First, we need the income and second, we have the time and space to do it. Across the river, Mita's in Cincinnati is serving non-traditional to-go meals. And while they've been selling quickly, Tano Bistro in Hamilton says it still has some gobble wobble dinner deals available. Supporting local comes with a side of comfort. Anything I can do to give anybody a sense of comfort right now, you know, uh, a sense of normality uh, in a time that just simply seems uncertain. And back here live in Hyde Park Square, you can see folks are setting up for the Farmer's Market Thanksgiving Harvest Celebration. It opens at 6.30 tonight and goes until 8.30. Again, a lot of produce, pies, lots of stuff out here. Now, I also want to mention one other uh, place I just heard from, Nine Giant Brewing, and they are doing a non-traditional type of Thanksgiving where you could actually pick up meals on Thanksgiving Day. That information is on their Facebook page. Reporting live in High Park Square, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.